What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I want to show you guys Zorn 16. So as I stated in the intro of the video, I want to go through and show you guys Zorn 16. I'm really excited about this distribution. It was released a couple months ago and I'm just getting around to actually reviewing it. And someone recently asked me in the comment box, hey, can you look at Zorn 16? And it was further down my list. So I just went on and bumped it up so I can knock it out for the person that requested it. And just so you know, I definitely appreciate all the comments. I go try to go through every comment and respond as much as I can, because I really appreciate all you guys supporting the channel, you know, hitting that like button, and sharing and all that good stuff so i definitely appreciate it and if you're new just go on and hit that subscribe button you know what i'm saying and uh and become a, a subscriber of this community that i'm trying to create so let's go over to distro watches page so we can check out zorn 16. all right so as i stated i'll be looking at zorn os today uh, and I reviewed this a uh, while ago. I actually did an article on Zorn OS. I thought it was a super cool distribution. This was a couple years ago. I don't even remember what version of Zorn that I reviewed, but I mainly did a article on it on my website, which has since been taken down. But it's best I go down and do a video showing you guys Zorn OS. Now, Zorn OS, it is OS type Linux, obviously, and it's based on Debian and Ubuntu. So it's a Ubuntu slash Debian based distribution. So it's super cool. Uh, the origin is Ireland. The architecture is x86-64. Uh, desktop, GNOME, XFCE. So that's the desktops. And then uh, category, uh, beginner, uh, desktop, live media. And this is one of those distributions that are super simple to use and will make the transition from, let's say, Windows and Mac OS to a Linux desktop environment. And as you can see right now, the status is active. Uh, it's currently being developed on uh, and maintained and updated. And then the popularity is super cool. It's number 11. And as you can see, it's kind of been in the top 10 for a very long time. Uh, I think like 12 months ago, it, it was like number 13, but uh, and six months ago, it was number 11. But the last 90 days, it's been number 10 or whatever. And that's based on the hits on Zorn. And then also they have some reviews down here. It says average uh, visitor rating 8.47, you know, from 316 reviews. And down below, here are all the links, and which is where I'm gonna go on and go. Okay, so here is Zorn.com, and this will break down everything about Zorn. Uh, as you can see, it says Zorn OS, the alternative to Windows and Mac OS design to make your computer faster, more powerful, secure, and privacy respected. And you can get some more information right here by hitting learn more. And they do have a purchase. Uh, size that which is the pro or purchase uh iso which is the pro version and i just want to break down the difference between all of them the pro ver version comes with premium desktop layout you know mac os windows 11 and classic and ubuntu standard plus standard layouts and then professional grade creative suite of apps uh advanced productivity software and includes a uh, pro light edition for older pcs which is coming soon it says coming soon on the site but then also supports the development of zorin os so that's one cool thing about you know getting the pro pro you're actually supporting the continual continued development of zorin os which is a very great product but if you just want to try it out test it out and everything they do have the core and they do have the light and but the only thing with the light it's uh 15.3 so i want you guys to know that but the core you can get the new version of zorn os minus the pro features uh if you get the core so that's what i'm gonna install today and we can go through it and look at everything about the system but this is how you actually get it you just hit download 
and then it's gonna you know ask you to sign up if you want to but if you go down here you can hit skip to download and it'll take you to the download page and it'll download in whatever location you know you want and this is a breakdown of Zorn OS editions uh, so I'm not gonna go through it all uh, but this is where you actually get it so let's go down and switch over to my virtual machine so we can get this thing up and running and installed okay cool so we have Zorn booted up in a virtual machine I gave this computer uh, two cores as well as like eight gigabits of memory and a 32 gigabit hard drive but this is what will pop up once the system boots up as you can see you have two options well actually three you know you can set your language and then also try Zorn OS and then install Zorn OS so you can go right into the installer now what I'm gonna do is hit try so I can fix the screen so you guys can actually see me run through the install but you will see the exact same thing that you will see in the install Zorn OS button versus me opening it up once we got the live desktop up so I'll be back in one second. All right, cool. So we have the live desktop open and this is how you can actually test out the distribution and see if it will work on your hardware. You can go through and do anything you would do if this system was installed on your hardware. Like you can open up the browser, you know, you can play around with different applications. But what we're interested in is installing it. So let's just go down and double click on the install. And that's what will happen when you try the distribution. It'll, it'll have the install script right here on the desktop. So you can go through the install. And as you can see, it looks just like what popped up in the beginning when we booted up the, the ISO. Except you don't have those two options. We're basically going through the install of Zorin OS. So let's run through this right quick right quick all we have to do is select our language i must leave it at english uh let's hit continue and then select your keyboard layout mine's already selected which is english just select yours and then this is a fairly quick install you know you have your updates and other software so you can download the updates you know what i'm saying as well as install third party software for graphics and this kind of includes some proprietary software so if you don't want any proprietary software installed in your system then uncheck this box but that's basically what that'll do like if you have a, a intel or a nvidia graphics core then it'll download some of the software for that now let's go down and hit continue there and then also this is uh and let me go back right fast i forgot to show you guys that but that was a, a like a census uh zorin os the developers they want to count how many systems out there are actually running zorin os and this is supposed to not include any user information so if you want to participate in that you can do that so it's basically a census let's go back to continue uh and this will set up the hard drive uh so they do have some options in here uh i'm gonna select the first one but i just wanted to at least show you guys these advanced features so if you click in here they do have lvm and also you can encrypt so and then also one thing about it they have experimental it says express erase this and use zfs so if you want to use zfs then it's available to you uh, so i'm gonna hit cancel on that uh, and then also you can go through and create and resize your partitions yourself so by clicking something else let's say you want your home directory on a different partition you know you can set all that up there but we're just gonna hit install now and wait till this thing finishes and then we're gonna go through the desktop environment uh, or go through the desktop and check it out check out what's new with zorn 16. So once this finishes, I'll be back. We'll reboot the system and then go through the desktop environment. And, and sorry about that. I forgot that they did have some more uh, stuff we got to type in, but that was just our location. So I specified Los Angeles and then you can name the PC, uh, whatever you want. Like uh, for instance, I'm just naming mine Zorn 16. You can name it whatever you want for you but that's just the computer's name. And then also put in your password, boom. And we have to type it in to match. So let's make sure I type it in right, boom. And then require my password to log in, hit continue. And there we go. 
it's uh it was already starting the install in the background uh while we did some of that stuff because a lot of those other options will be set up at the last point of the install so i'll be back when this actually finishes all right cool so we finished the install and as you can see it gives you two options you know versus when you just go through the install it just basically i just use to restart well you can actually continue testing the system if you want to or you can restart now which that's what we're gonna do just go down and restart the system and i'll be back when it actually comes up all right cool so we had a system up uh so basically this the lock screen uh so we're gonna log into it and i actually logged into it already just to uh fix the screen so you guys can see it uh properly when i'm recording but uh let's top in our password boom but i want to show you guys the first thing that will actually pop up so it says welcome to zorn hi there it'll take you through a tour now you can hit no thanks but let's go through the tour just to show you guys what it actually uh does and you can actually set up make some changes to the desktop environment you know right now right off the bat so let's run through this right fast but it's basically showing you the uh main menu launcher uh you can launch all your apps from the launcher uh so it basically just tells you about it let's hit next now you can uh choose your desktop uh, you know, make it look how you want to based on a, you know, Zorn appearance. So we can open that up now. I'm gonna go down and open it up so I can show you guys that. Uh, so we don't have to, you know, pull it up a little later. But they have four different ways you can uh, make it uh, appear. Uh, for instance, as far as the layout goes. So, and it's represented by the pictures there. So this is what it's showing right now. So you see how it has the desktop, you know, all that good stuff. And the bar at the bottom is kind of, you know, tall or whatever, but they do have a collapsed one, which is the one I actually like because I prefer, you know, the names next to the application that's opening, you know what I'm saying? So that's just my opinion. That's what I like the way I like it. So I'm gonna select that. But also I just want to show you a couple of the other ones. This is kind of looks like a launcher, you know, or a dock right here. And then we hit the uh, show applications. It opens up kind of like GNOME, uh, where it shows all the desktop or all the applications on the system, you know, right there. And then you can close that, good to go. And this is one right here where it just puts the uh, bar at the top. Uh, and if we click there, you know, that'll expand it out. As you can see, it opens up, you know, our board on the right, on the left as far as like all our applications, that's our favorite applications, as well as what's open with the period next to it. And then you can also look at the full applications kind of like in GNOME as well. Uh, and then also that's super cool that it shows you everything that's actually open on a desktop. And then also you can select whatever desktop you want. So if you have multiple desktops open, uh, you can select whichever one there. So I'm gonna just uh, go back here, boom. There we go. So that's another option as well. Now I'm gonna just select that. Like I said, I like to see the words on the screen and then it pop up like that or whatever. You can actually, you know, click on it. That's just the way I like it. But then you do have some other ones that are under Zorin OS Pro and you can actually upgrade to Zorin OS Pro by just clicking here. But also let's show the theme. So you can go through and look at the different accent colors. Like I might change mine up a little bit. Uh, nah, I'll leave the blue. You know what I'm saying? That's that's super cool. But I kind of want the, uh, I think the background of all the applications to be dark. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, also we can, you know, make it even look even darker by selecting the gray. So super cool. You know, that's your background. That's just the way it looks, you know what I'm saying? And you can also select one where it changes throughout the day. So if it's at nighttime, you know, it'll go to the dark theme. So it's easier on your eyes. And during, during the daytime, you know, it's that white theme or white background. And if we go to, let's say interfaces, you know, this it's just some more uh, options, you know, as far as the Zorn appearance. Now, one cool thing that I was interested in actually seeing in Zorn is the jelly mode. Now, if you guys don't, so if you guys are new to Linux, you probably never heard of Compass. Uh, this is something that was out a long time ago where the windows, you know, they'll wiggle around when you move them and then, and with the spinning desktops and all that stuff, that's like super cool. 
Well, this is kind of like a scaled down version of Compass. I'm going to turn it on uh, and just hopefully it works. But I'm going to turn it on and as well as enable animations. That's already on by default. But we're going to test that out a little bit later. But Jelly Mode is super cool. So check that out if you haven't. If you install Zorn. And then it has some other options like, you know, your normal desktop options. You can add icons to the desktop and then fonts. Uh, you can change up the fonts of the system. So super cool. Now, all I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go down and close this or whatever and just continue on with the welcome. So let's hit next. Uh, that was the appearance of the system. But here it basically states uh, speed may be limited in a virtual machine. So Zorin OS has detected that you're using a virtual machine. So yeah, they are kind of scaling it down or whatever. <laughs> it's always best to install an operating system like this on physical hardware. So it may not run the best. That's just a warning. It probably won't show this if you're if you don't have it installed in a virtual machine. So let's hit next. And then you connect to your online accounts, which I never do. I'm gonna hit next. And then right here, you know, you can zinc, you can link your phone using Zorin Connect. So they do have that integration. And I've never played around with this, so I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother it. But that's how you actually connect to it. It's just like in Android, you know, like Chrome. You can connect your Android phone to it. You know, what I'm saying same thing with this or any of the other phone connection app so so let's hit next boom and then this is just basically showing you the software and let's go down and uh launch it right fast uh just so you guys can see what it actually looks like but it pops up with this uh welcome screen basically say welcome to software and this is where you can go through and install all your applications and they have like editors pick and then release you know recent releases and right now it's downloading a bunch of stuff you know what I'm saying? That's why it looks kind of weird. It doesn't have the images yet, but it'll be there momentarily, you know, and then also like when I do some updates on the system, it'll probably get all our icons and it'll look right. So I'm gonna just close it out. I just kind of wanted to show it to you guys for right now. Now let's hit next. Uh, you can, right now it comes with LibreOffice installed, but you can also install only Office, uh, which it says it works best with, you know, Windows uh, documents or Office documents, the Office suite. But also LibreOffice, it allows you to save files or, you know, Word documents, Excel documents or whatever. You can save it in the Microsoft format, which is, you know, DocX. You just got to go in and select it. Now let's hit next, boom. And then right here is just basically telling you where to find help. So that's pretty much it on the welcome machine, uh, screen. So good to go. But let's go down and update the system. This popped up a few minutes ago. Uh, boom. And then let's hit install now. It shouldn't be too much. Well, it is a lot. It's about 278 megabytes of stuff it needs to download. So I'm not going to go through these updates right now. Uh, but I'll go down and close it or remind me later boom and let's go on and go through the desktop uh and let's try a different background so you guys can see it a little bit better in my opinion and actually i keep clicking on the wrong thing so change background there we go boom so let's select something like that uh you guys should be able to see that a whole lot better now it, and it looks better with the dark uh theme that we got going on there but as you can see on the right hand side i'm gonna just start off on the right but behind my face you know you can kind of see but it basically has a calendar and events and all that stuff and then your notifications right there and they also have a do not disturb button which is super cool and then i don't know if you guys saw a little earlier when i clicked on something or i clicked on those updates it kind of um you know had the wiggle uh window but i'll show you guys a little bit later when we get further into the video but um, volume controls, you know, network control settings, uh, that'll get you straight to the settings right there. And then you can lock the screen or power it off and log out. You know what I'm saying? And then you can eject right here is where you eject uh, drives that are connected to the system. So as you see, that's, you know, the fake CD that's installed on the system or not installed, but connected to the system or attached using a virtual kind of like CD drive. 
and then right here is a shortcut to our software which we open up and let's open it up again uh, and it still hasn't downloaded everything but it's going through and getting certain things as you can see you know uh, as it you know updates you'll see it start uh, populating everything but I just wanted to click on here just show you you can go into your you know software updates you know you can do the update preferences and about software and as you can see you know that's the version right there so 3.36.1 and you know as you can see it's still coming in you see slack right there just popped up that wasn't there you know before but then you can look at your installed applications as well as the updates so that's where it'll check for updates and you can update the system from here but let's go down and close that out close that out but we have the file explorer and let's click on it right fast but this theme is you know it's pretty cool i like the way it looks uh with the little icons on it just a a representation of what it is what directory it is and then we can go into open files or look at the files but it's at 3.36.3 uh, stable so we're good to go that's known uh so we can close that right fast boom but that's how you navigate the file system if you want to you know navigate it via the command i mean via the explorer now uh it comes with defaults of firefox so let's look at what version of firefox that's installed on here but go down to help and then we should be able to look at about firefox so it comes with 91.0.1 uh, so we probably need to update that you know there were some vulnerabilities that came out uh, a while back that they want you to up uh, well no no i'm thinking about chrome so we should be good with that version of firefox but there are some updates for it now let's go into the start menu and just kind of look at all the applications that are installed uh this is your directories which is super cool they have a link to the directories right there so you don't have to click here you know click right here under files and then let's say i want to go to documents you know to get a document or whatever they have that under the start menu so you can just click on documents and it'll go right to that documents directory so that's super cool it's got those shortcuts there and then uh we can go through each one of these and i'm not i'm gonna go through them pretty quick but you got clock uh your files maps and you got uh your text editor you got to do list uh you also got weather so that's that's cool uh games you got a few games on here so that's that's super cool uh graphics let's see what they got on here oh super cool to always see gimp you know what i'm saying and then you got your photo app or image viewer you use either one of those uh as well as you know gimp to edit your photos so that's cool that they have some stuff on here and then also under graphics it said uh libre draw that's part of the libre office suite so that's part of that uh and then under internet let's see what else we got under here i'm not sure what this is oh that's connecting to remote desktop so ramina uh and i meant to do a video on this a while back uh i'll show you guys that in a later date but as you can see it also had you know firefox like we said and then under office uh you got all your office uh applications that you can need you got your calendar contacts evolution the mail reader as well as all your office you know products libre office products right there boom and then sound and videos we got brazero uh which is how i rip i used to rip cds back in the day uh cheese so you take photos uh Pativa, uh, Rhythm Box. Now I like Rhythm Box. It's a it's a solid uh, video. I mean, uh, not video, but audio player for your system. And then you got Sound Recorder and then videos. Uh, so that that's cool. Known videos and then System Tools. So you got all your basic System Tools as you can see in here, as well as some Zorn stuff. You can get into your Zorn appearance from here. You know, Zorn Connect if you got a phone connected. You know your software updater uh stored up applications pretty much all your settings you can also send feedback under here which is super cool uh and modify your main menu if you want to uh this you know utilities and all that stuff so here's the main utilities i'm just kind of scroll through them you got your terminal so let's open that up or whatever see what shell is actually running so we can run uh let's see echo and then i believe it's the variable is dollar sign shell in all caps 
boom and as you can see we're using a born again shell and then also let's run you name um and i always spell that <laughs> wrong but you name dash a boom and as you can see we're using kernel 5.11 so good to go right there and let's exit out that's all i'm gonna show you guys as well yeah that's that's pretty much all i wanted to show you guys there and wait before i leave i forgot to show you guys uh the jelly so if we move this thing around and it's probably not gonna work too well because like i said it's running on a virtual machine and they said it you know you may run into problems especially messing around with this but i just wanted to show you guys i mean you should be able to see it you know kind of moving around that's super cool that all came from like compass uh from back in the day and that's why i gave this thing a whole bunch of ram well eight gigabytes of memory uh it doesn't have a have a, um a video cord on it so uh you, you know you may run into those issues but you see you should be able to see it you know kind of boom but if you if you got it on a good a good, good hardware with a great graphics card you know what i'm saying you'll see it it's super it's super cool like how you can actually move these systems around like this or move the windows around and i might have to install this on my main desktop because that's one thing i really miss from the old days of playing around with uh ubuntu uh the whole compass experience is super cool so that is Zorin OS. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this is encourages someone to actually check out Zorin OS, the latest version of Zorin OS. It's a dope distribution. As you can see, you know, it's very clean. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's clean distribution, you know what I'm saying? And you have all those options to, you know, work with as far as the appearance goes. So it should be an easy transition from someone that's you know leaving windows or mac OS. this is a this will be an easy transition once you get the understanding of how linux works so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below and of course keep it techie